Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we're gonna hit you guys with another, hello, another weekend vlog. Um, you guys seem to really be liking them and me and Steve actually really enjoy filming them as well. So, Saturday today, it is currently nine o'clock. Um, I'm not quite with it today because I had like a really bad night's sleep. I just don't know why, like the last couple of days seem to be a bit, I don't know, not getting the best sleep at the moment. Um, but yeah, we don't really have any proper plans today. Um, Steve's just cooking breakfast. We're gonna have some bacon bagels. as like a little weekend treat and um, yeah, like the only things, I think we're gonna go work out. I'm feeling so tired. Like I know I feel better when I work out. I haven't done legs in about a million years, so I should probably like make an effort and I know I feel better afterwards, but there's just a part of me that's just like, I can't be bothered. Um, but yeah, apart from that, all we've got to do really is take the boys on a walk. You are so needy today. You just want constant cuddles all the time. Um, yeah, and I've got to go to the post office and post my hair. Obviously, if you guys haven't seen um, that I had my hair cut off, um, I will link that video. Um, so I had that done last Saturday. I haven't had time to go to the post office and post that. So we're going to go do that today. Probably recycle our coffee pods. <laughs> so exciting. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot planned. We're thinking of like um, having a sort through of our garage. It's just an absolute tip. Um, probably got a couple of small life updates to kind of take you guys through as well but I'm super hungry right now <laughs> so we are gonna go get some breakfast you've not even eaten yet have you go on then wow thank you absolute state <laughs> state of this kitchen it's, a mess. it's awful there's just stuff literally everywhere um wrong. i'll show you guys this later actually this is pretty cool wrong case though we're gonna tidy it up today aren't we yeah it's been a busy week steve's empty papa john's boxes sorry. over there sorry, who's? i had a little a little something right. that's all i want to know <laughs> um yeah right let's let's chat i'm starving yeah me too Right, so just finished breakfast. That took all of two seconds. I was gonna really quickly talk you through, because we obviously have this huge muscle food box on the counter. Um, the reason is because we did a massive order the other day. And so I have worked with muscle food previously, but we have been paying customers for years, like actually years. Um, and we paid for this order as well. But they do these things which are really, really cool. So at the minute, me and Steve are really, really busy and I feel like we don't have a lot of time to like prep food or like we, it's like we do have enough time but we don't prioritize that out of all the things that we've got to do. So basically like over the last few lockdowns and God knows how long, like our health is just like slipping, we've been eating crap. So we're like, look, let's just take a hold of this, get a bit more on track. So we ordered loads of these. I've tried these before, they're really good. They're, they're like prepped pots. So you can just keep them in the freezer. Um, we've got a couple defrosted in the fridge, but they have an offer on, and the offer was... How 10 many was for 30 it? quid, wasn't it? Was it 10 for 30 quid? I thought so. I don't know. I'll leave the details down below in the description box. So I think it was like 10 of those pots for 30 quid. So we got 20 to share between us. But like if you track macros or anything like that, the macros on them are really, really good. Um, they're just super convenient. You literally just whack them in the microwave and then they're good to go and they taste really good as well. So we're doing that. We've also got our Gusto boxes still. We're really loving those, aren't we? Yeah. It honestly just makes life so much easier. Actually, what we've changed up is before we were getting it for two people on three days. Four days. <laughs> four days <laughs> thank god you're here my brain's not working yeah we were getting the two person box for four days we've now changed it to the four person box for three days that's right isn't it yeah so, <laughs> so basically we'll cook a meal for four people but then heat it up the next day so we're basically just trying to make our life as easy as possible i do have um 
anyone who signs up to gusto gets like a discount code so i don't work with gusto i wish but they everyone gets like a discount code so i will leave mine in the description box i think it's a link that you have to click on um but basically it gets you 60 percent off of your first box and then you get 30 percent off of your next three boxes but honestly it is so worth it we tried other recipe boxes and this is by far our favorite and also i'm um, like plug after plug but you can order one of these little recipe folders. No, but this is so cool, isn't it? You order a little recipe folder, it's for free. Like if you're getting your box, you can just like add it onto the order. And look how cute it is. Like the design's really cute. It's really handy. You just fit all of like your little recipe cards in there. So even if you decide like I want to pause, because you can pause anytime, I want to pause my box, you can recreate the meals yourself or like adapt them. So it's really, really awesome. I'm gonna stop blabbing on about it because you guys are really bored, but I felt like I had to share because it's honestly been like a life changer, hasn't it? Yeah. You have to admit, it's been good. It Steve's been waiting good. to like do the washing up. I'm waiting to do stuff in the sink. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna stop filming now. But yeah, I wanna show you my treadmill as well in a minute. Daily dose of the doggos. Hey. Doggo number. Well, you actually, what is going on with your hair? What is going on? Doggo number one. Oh, and the needy little brother. There we go. Poor Rocky. <laughs> Poor Rocky. Oh dear. <laughs> They're having a little sibling argument now. I love them, but they keep on bringing in like bits of bark and stuff from outside and it's making the kitchen so dirty. Like they're literally everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Boys, sit, sit, Rocky, good boys. Okay, we just had a little clear up so the kitchen's looking a lot tidier. I really want to show you this really quickly. So um, basically, one thing that I want to start doing is just being more active, like day-to-day -day active. And I feel like I don't have a commute. Um, I walk the dogs like once a day, but they never need like walking very far. And I feel like I never get in like 10,000 steps because I just kind of like work at home, like I stay at home, like yeah, I go to the gym, but like I, the gym I go to, I drive to. So I feel like in my day-to-day -day life, I just don't like, I don't move. Like I don't really have a need to move. And like sometimes like, like recently, I feel like our weathers have been two different extremes. They've either been like super, super hot and I don't want to go out and like walk during the day. Um, it's kind of difficult to fit it in around like work and other kind of commitments that we have um and also like recently it's been raining so i don't really want to go out in the rain so i was like look i need to kind of just like focus on getting my steps in i feel like that's a small kind of thing that you can easily do so i saw these you can get them on like amazon ebay wherever i got mine from ebay um and it's like a walking pad so you can run on it, it goes up to 10 miles an hour. I don't really know how fast that is, so I think that's running pace. Um, but yeah, I just thought, do you know what? It'd be easy if it's like raining outside, you can just do it in front of the TV. It doesn't weigh very much, so you can easily like store it away. It's actually got like wheels on it as well. So you can like wheel it and put it in a cupboard. Um, but I just thought it might be a bit easier for me to kind of try and get my steps in every single day. So I wanna show you how it works, because it comes with this like little remote. So you turn it on. Have, oh, press the play button, Louise. There we go. 
How cool is that, Rocky? Very cool. Oh, Not sure. You on, <laughs> I tried walking on it yesterday. He hated it, so that's gonna be a no. But yeah, you can like kick up the speed and you control it all with this like little remote so you can like have it on the side next to you or just carry it wherever you want. But it's a super easy way to get your steps in. I've seen a, a few people all have these on like Instagram and stuff and I messaged someone previously and was like, is it actually good? And she said, yes. But I do think you get what you pay for. Like it will be good for walking. But I haven't run on it, so... I don't know how, I think like it's obviously very cheap. It was 160 pounds and a lot of treadmills go for like hundreds and hundreds or like thousands. So at the end of the day, you get what you pay for, but if it's gonna help me kind of like stay more active and move my body a little bit more, then I think it's definitely worth it. So yeah, I'm pretty psyched about my little treadmill purchase. Um, I can't remember if I've said already, but we've had a bit of a change of plan. So we've said like, basically our garage is a bit of a tip. I swear that's the story of our life, that always seems to be the case. Um, but we've decided we're gonna have a bit of a sort out in the garage. I just, <laughs> just did my hay fever. <laughs> Steve's just done hay fever eye drops, so if he looks a little bit teary. Um, yeah, we need to sort out our garage a little bit. There's a lot of stuff in there we need to kind of get rid of and stuff like that. So I think we're gonna walk the dogs prioritize getting them walked because it could potentially rain again um we've got a couple little bits like i said we need to post my hair we've got to do that by 12 30 because the post office closes mm -hmm. and recycle our nespresso pods <laughs> yeah but i said we also had a couple of little up life updates so first one being our house is back on the market i can't i don't think i shared that with you guys before it's a like it's a bit of a catch-22 this because I really want to share stuff and like share the process but I also don't want to jinx stuff. We've had a bit of bad luck putting it on the market and I explained this before we actually took it off and had a market break. Um, so yeah it's gone back on. I don't really want to talk about it too much because I'm just really worried about like jinxing it and stuff um, but fingers crossed um, we can actually go and start looking at houses soon because basically you can't look at houses until you are proceedable well like majority of them you can't look at anyway um so it's been a bit of like a downer on our search that we can't even have like the fun bit of going and looking at houses um but yeah we'll see i think we're very much of the mindset of whatever happens happens like if we have to stay here you know i like we love our house it's a very nice house um and we're grateful that we do live here but we just we're ready to move on to the next step so yeah if and when we do find somewhere i probably won't share it until we've exchanged contracts because i just do not want to drink that um but hopefully something happens soon we just don't really know um and then the other update was i was just having a think about my channel mm -hmm. what i mm -hmm. Mm -hmm what I want to do, what I enjoy doing. I feel like at the moment, um, why do they always fight when I'm trying to? <laughs> at the moment, I, f I feel like I've been feeling a little bit stumped creatively. Um, bless you, child. Bless you, child. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if other people get this, but I just, I feel a bit like blah sometimes, a bit unmotivated. And I always try and like pinpoint why I'm feeling that way. And I feel like one of the reasons is because I'm not being creative or like doing creative things that I enjoy as much. And I feel like one thing that I really, really enjoy doing is like interior design, like upcycling things, things like that. Um, so I really want to step up doing that kind of stuff because that is the stuff that I honestly like really enjoy filming. Obviously I used to film those like room transformations. Those are honestly like my favorite videos to film. I am working on my sister's house with her at the moment, but obviously that's very much determined by like their pace, which is obviously completely understandable. Um, <laughs> Cause it's their house. Do it faster. <laughs> no, but like there is a part of me that like wants to, you know, just whack out a room transformation in two days. And that's not the reality for them. And I completely understand that and respect that. But I feel like I need to focus my creative energy on something else, which sounds really BS, but it's true. So 
yeah, I was just thinking about what I want to do, what I want to put out there. So I think I want to do a lot more um, home stuff, a lot more like furniture bits, things like that. Um, I love upcycling bits of furniture. So maybe taking you guys through some of that. Um, I feel like at the moment <laughs> my channel is very fashion focused and out of everything I film, being completely transparent, that's not my most favourite thing to film. It's not really what excites me. I feel like a lot of people ask for it and I feel like I've been doing what people want to see, which is obviously like, I want to do that as well, but it doesn't, yeah, it just does not excite me as much as other things I enjoy filming. So I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a shift in this channel. So I hope you guys are on board with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, on, to, on, on the back of that, basically, I'm waffling. But what I want to say is that I want to start a blog as well. So I thought it'd be really cool to do a lot more DIY stuff, a lot more interior design, decor stuff. Um, blog it, take you guys through step by step stuff as well as kind of filming things as well. Um, yeah, and I just want to branch out and do a lot more of that. So watch this space, I started working on it last night um, and yeah, I'm excited to, I've got Mr. Marketing next to me, in case anyone doesn't know, he's a marketing manager. So he knows marketing shit, <laughs> it's quite simply. So he's gonna be really helpful <laughs> with a <my> blog. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's accurate, right? Yeah, sure. You know how to do the marketing things. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my little update, my little rant for the day. Um, hopefully that's not bored you guys, and hopefully you guys are excited as I am to start doing some more, like, home decor furniture bits. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited, but right now we're going to go take the dogs out because it looks like it could start peeing it down. packaging up my hair so it's all there's something about hair when it's not attached to a head it's just so creepy I don't know what it is so I put it in like a little zippy bag to keep it safe and then I've just got it in a little padded envelope like that I just need to fill out this in you get this form and then put an address label on and then I can send it off post office closes in an hour so i'm gonna go and do that now that's that done right we're good to go right we're back and we're just gonna have some lunch so steve's having levi roots high protein pot veggie veggie so you literally just crack it open and just put it in the microwave for four minutes four minutes is it yeah and then i'm having beef Ragu, there's your one. Beef ragu, 454 calories, 24 grams of protein, and yeah, in the microwave for four minutes. Look at this. Let's have a look at yours then. That looks quite nice actually. Yeah, it's like sweet potato y um, and potatoes, or butternut squash potatoes, maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, mine's still a little bit hot from the microwave. Right, so I enjoyed my ragu. Steve, you said yours is okay. I wouldn't get it again. Mm. He said it was really, really hot, is really hot, but not like really flavoured. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like super, super hot. But I don't know, it's just a bit, just a bit meh. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not got meat in it. Um, oh god, I really can't be bothered to do the garage. You're for better after you've done it. <sighs> yeah. Um, anyone who's watched, I think I did it in a previous weekend vlog where we always like do this thing. Are we going to do the sofa bed? Yeah, we're going to do the sofa We bed. like put all the cushions from our sofa on the floor, like with a blanket, make it all nice and like dark and cozy and watch a movie. 
probably gonna have a nap. I'm really tired because I didn't sleep very well. Steve's very tired because what time did you come to bed? Two. Oh my God, I don't think I even woke up. Steve was drinking with his mates last night, basically. Mm. So, are you hungover? No, I'm just tired. He's a bit grumpy today. You are very grumpy today. You're just proving the point you're being such a fucking Karen. <laughs> like, yeah. I think you're a bit tired and a bit grouchy. I am tired. I'm 100% I'm not hungover, though. Okay. Well, I trust you on that, but you are grouchy. Yeah. <laughs> These boys are sleepy as well. Can you not read the room? This yeah. Is, this is the energy. I know. That's what I want to be doing right now. Okay, so this is what we are dealing with. Um, it's not like the worst, but it's not very good. There's just stuff piled like everywhere. And it's just annoying basically. So this area here is all DIY stuff. This is like a chest of drawers that broke when we moved in. Um, but it's kind of overflowing, it's just literally like everywhere, there's like gardening stuff. Um, there's like a weights bench under there. That's a chair for the garden that we kind of keep in here so it doesn't get wet. These are boxes that we've collected um, for potential moving boxes. So they kind of have to stay, but whether we kind of like stack them up behind there or something, I don't know. That is the box that my <laughs> little treadmill walking pad thing just came in. So I, I don't want to, get rid of it just yet that needs to stay because that's got our strimmer our lawnmower in spare chairs this is probably all stuff that could be sold um and then our bins and stuff we keep them in here rather than having them out in the drive all the time and then oh my god i'm like knocking stuff over um exercise bike needs to stay in here as well and then there's just like excess bedding there's like a mattress in here there's like a spare bed frame yeah there's a lot basically so we need to sort this out right that is us pretty much done it still looks like an absolute tip in here but it is way more organized so like the main thing that i did was sort out this area so this is all the diy stuff so it still looks absolute chaos there's like loads of screws in there nails actually those are like um extra like handles and knobs and stuff nails everything that i need to access really quickly is in there and then this drawer is mainly like paints and stuff and like paint accessories there's some spare like furniture feet but everything before was like spread everywhere in like different boxes and stuff so it's all in one place we've stacked our potential moving boxes up there there are loads of things that i need to sell like this bench we're just not really using so we're probably gonna sell that literally like that whole pile there is selling stuff that's christmas stuff over there and then these are the weights that we used um when we had our garage gym those are actually borrowed from one of steve's colleagues so we're gonna be giving those back now aren't we because the gyms are open we don't really need them yes. steve's just breaking down some of our gusto boxes because we were saving them for like moving boxes but my sister's just moved so she has loads of spare ones so we don't really need to like hoard loads of boxes so we're just breaking them up for the recycling there's like um bits of bedding up there that we need to get rid of so we've organized it all i'm gonna put like these on gumtree now um yeah so it does look a lot better we can move in here a lot easier. The one thing Steve said is because we have our bins in the garage, like Steve comes in through the garden to put the bins out and before there just wasn't a clear walkway, whereas now there is a clear walkway for you. That's all I wanted. <laughs> That's all he wanted. And all I wanted was to have my bike here and be able to look out the door into the garden when I'm doing spin and stuff. So yeah. All done. How long did that take us all in all? I don't know. I reckon we were only out here for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got away pretty, pretty easy with that. Right, I am going to jump in the shower. I feel grubby after touching dusty stuff in the gym. 
gonna, I keep on calling it the gym. It's a garage. <laughs> I know it's a garage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. Steve's gonna jump in after me and we're gonna set up the lounge to watch some movies and have a chill time. Looking forward to it. There you go, Steve has very kindly set up the bed, <laughs> the sofa bed. The boy absolutely love it, don't you? You're ready for a nap. You're definitely ready for a nap, aren't you, mister? That one's already napping. Um, yeah, so we're gonna chill here and watch a movie. The TV definitely is updating. But yeah, that's our plan for the next God knows how many hours. Right, so we're just about to watch Fatherhood, which is the new Kevin Hart movie on Netflix. I've just watched Kissing Booth. <laughs> how was that for you? <laughs> Steve snored his way through most of it. <laughs> it feels like I've snored my way through it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're actually going to watch a movie together now. That movie was so sad that had both of us in tears. What was it called again? Fatherhood. Mm -hmm with Kevin Hart on Netflix. Really, really good movie, definitely watch it. Um, so we've we'll just come down, Rocky's barking outside. We're gonna cook some dinner. So we've got this, which is chicken satay skewers with pickled cucumber. It looks really, really good. So we're gonna cook that up. Now, eat that and then, <laughs> we're just gonna chill some more for the rest of the evening, isn't that right? It certainly is. Yeah. I would love a drinky beer. Would you like me to make you a ginny ginny? Oh, that'd be nice. Right, let's go cooking. Voila, dinner is done. That was pretty easy. I feel like my satay sauce looks a little bit questionable. <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit like porridge, but it smells really, really good. So we are gonna sit and have this now. We've got a gin and tonic on the go. Um, yeah. Right guys, I'm gonna sign this off here. We are very tired. Um, not that we've done a lot today. <laughs> I feel like it makes us seem really lazy. We haven't done a lot today, but um, it's been a busy week. So yeah, we're gonna eat our dinner. Um, I think we're gonna have a little look over and do some planning for like my blog really quickly. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, we will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.